syndesmosis tightrope XP fixation of a syndesmotic injury in association with a Weber B ankle fracture. The arthritic plates have been designed with 30 degrees of freedom to allow for appropriate trajectory for the drill bit for the tightrope. The syndesmosis is a relatively posterior structure and we need to aim from posterior to anterior to have the appropriate trajectory across the syndesmosis. Here we have an image showing that the surgery bit is quadricortical, which is necessary for insertion of the tightrope XP. This is the tightrope XP. Orientation for implantation of the tightrope XP is with this button proximal towards the patient's head. Here we are inserting the tightrope XP with the button towards the patient's head. We're going quadricortical. Here we'll watch the oblong button become prominent on the medial side of the ankle as we insert the tightrope. And here we can palpate the oblong button. Here we have a fluoroscopic image demonstrating the oblong button entirely through the medial cortex and in the soft tissues medially. Here we have the red safety tab and this is the first step to deployment. We're going to pull the safety tab to allow for deployment of the button with the black button. Next step is to deploy the black button by pulling the button back and at the same time I am going to gently advance the blue handle to ensure that the button stays on the medial aspect of the medial cortex. Here we have a fluoroscopic image showing the button flipped and laying against the medial cortex. The next step for deployment of the sutures is to remove this black retaining ring. Unravel the suture and the inserter can then come out. The next step is to take the button and slide it down the sutures to the plate. We're going to grab the sutures here so the button can start to slide. And then we can advance the button the rest of the way down to the plate. The next step for insertion and tensioning is utilization of the tensioning handles which prevent cuts in your hands and fingers from the fiber wire. We wrap these around and these lock in, one for each and now we can tension. Right, left, right, left, and you can see our button is sitting nicely into the plate. Here we have a fluoroscopic image showing the tensioned buttons, both the oblong button and the round button, with appropriate alignment at our syndesmosis.